Hey, how's it going? It's Steph from Barbell Sanctuary, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a deadlift jack for under $5. So I already have a deadlift jack that I made, and here it is. I made it with a scrap piece of wood, and I've been using it now for, I don't know, four or five months, and it works great. I used the hole saw, it took me like five minutes, and I just drilled two holes out of this rough two by four. So it's, it's a literal two inches by four inches, that's what I mean, a, a rough two by four. It's not smooth, and then I just cut a slight angle so that it, 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 it goes on an angle and it's stable when I use the deadlift jack. But now, this works so well, I kept saying, I'm gonna make it a, a, an even better one. So what I did, I went and bought a two by four for four dollars. This was four dollars, okay? And I'm gonna use some, some wood screws that I have kicking around. So let's get at it. All right, so first thing, I'm just gonna decide real quick how high I want it. And my plan is to cut the two by four in three pieces. So I'll have three pieces wide with uh, just one piece in the middle as the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna go two, two, and three. There's my fucking pencil. So I decided I was gonna go two feet lengths for the, the pivoting part and a three foot length for the, the handle piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right now. Uh, just gonna put my glasses on. Just gonna trace that. I'm gonna go three feet. This is going to be the part that needs to pivot and hold your weight. See how it's at the edge there? You just bring it right up to the edge like this and you make sure that you got, you know, a good two inches here to make sure that when it's tilted, the bottom of your plate's not going to hit the ground. And then you just take your pencil and you draw around. And that'll give you a template for where you can cut. So I'll probably cut it like this, right? Because you want to make you want to make a pocket inside here where the bar will sit on the bottom here. And then here you're going to want to make a little angle. Okay, not as much as that there. Just a little angle, so I'll cut that. When it sits, it'll go like this. You know what I mean? And it'll hold the bar in there. You're just gonna make a very small angle. Maybe about a centimeter or a quarter inch, all right? As you can see, it's perfect for the bar to rest in. I say it's perfect, it's not perfect. It doesn't matter. Touch it up a little bit. There. Good enough. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Oh, that's good. Okay. Then you take your other piece that you cut to two feet, right? You want it to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to put it over and I'm going to draw it out with my pencil. And I'm going to cut this one the same way I got my markings on. Okay, next you're going to want to drink more coffee. Oh, this is tough. All right. And then you want your third piece, your handle. It's going to go in the middle of the other two pieces. So you're going to want that to match as well. So you're going to find your pencil. Now the great thing is this is it's just wood. So if if the pieces don't line up perfectly, 
you're gonna wear it in. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna wear it in with a bar, so it doesn't matter. Okay. They're all gonna. All three pieces are gonna line up. Right. So that's what you're gonna have. So I'm just gonna make it pretty. Kind of want to design a little bit of a handle here. go so I got my sander I'm not doing much this is just a deadlift jack but you know I just want to smooth out the edges so this is the roughest it's coarse ground I think it's uh, 60 grit there yeah I'm just doing enough to uh, just doing enough so it doesn't all chip away uh, the you know, using the deadlift jack is gonna is gonna wear it out anyways, and it's gonna look cool. I just don't want pieces to be coming flying off. Stir lined up. Okay, so I got it all together. Works pretty good, but to keep it from tipping over, okay. So the bar will come in here, and it's slanted this way. I'm going to put a little piece of wood here to just make the, that side uh, of the base bigger. Use my safety squints. $5 deadlift jack. I don't know. It's not pretty. But, I don't know. I think it looks really, really nice. And if the zombies come, I think this would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good weapon. Let's load some plates on this. So I can come down, scoop it up. Load your 45. Bring it down, off to the side. Look how solid this is with the three, the three wide. Like that's even moving around. It's still staying up. It's awesome. Put the other one in. There. But what's great is that it's wood, so it's not going to break your bar. So you can just slide it from side to side. Now I'm just minimum, minimum clearance here. I could have went a little bit higher maybe, but you know what? It's just, it's just wood. So let's say it would wear down and my plates started rubbing on the ground. I could just add a shim to the bottom. But yeah, no, solid. And it's light because it's wood, like I said. It hooks it. No, this will be perfect. I could get all fancy and paint it, but I don't know. I like the natural wood look. It'll wear down with use. But uh, yeah, less than five bucks. All right, let's give you a close look. There. Nice and simple. If you did like that video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, my philosophy is, you know, you're working out and stuff to, to, to improve your mind and body. Why stress yourself out by getting way over your head in debt, building your home gym. You don't need to. Four dollar, two by four. And you know what? Most of you probably have something kicking around that you can use. Um, 
I actually went and bought this. I didn't need to, but I bought it just to see how much it would cost. I'm probably still going to use my old one once in a while. Anyway, all right. Like the video.